Generability tokens are not only relevant for the backend. You can actually get some really useful information out of them, even in the front end. So let's take a look at how to use your React app to extract data from a JWT token. Okay, so let's first of all take a look at our app. We've got a little greeting right here that says hello to name here. And name here will basically be the name that's extracted from the JWT token, which for many apps might actually be a real world use case. So let's take a look at how we're going to build the token. We're going to use the Scott Brady JWT generator, and I've already prepared it. So it's going to have a username called and there's Zyreman. We're going to create the JWT and copy it from down here. Now let's just head into our code and say const token equals and put this as a string. You could of course also store this in local storage or a cookie or whatever. Many apps do this in many different ways, but yeah, we're just gonna put it into our code because we don't want to handle that right now. Okay, so now we need to first of all npm install JWT decode because that's gonna do most of the stuff for us so that now we just need to add a use effect that only runs once. So it's gonna have an empty dependency array and it's just gonna run set name to JWT decode which is a function from jwt decode that takes in our token and it will then just get the username from it head back to our vita we can see that it's already working but you probably shouldn't do it right inside of your code so how about you check out this video where i'll show you how to do central state management without a library using react providers which would be a really great way to integrate this token handling so see you there